Hey everyone, this is Melvin from CODUtility.com and I'm here to give you guys another tutorial. This is the Black Ops 3 mapping and modding tutorial series that I'm, I've been doing. I you know, haven't got one up in the last five days, so we're going to get to this one as quick as we can, so I can hopefully get another one tonight. This is tutorial number 11. Uh, we're going to get into some reflection probes. Uh, as a couple of people have been asking me, how do you reflection probe a complex area? Uh, we talked about reflection probes before a little bit, and uh, yeah, let's, let's get into this. So I'm going to show you guys two examples here. Uh, first, let's get to our scene. Okay, so in our scene here, we can see that uh, we have our reflection probes in. And as you can see, the area of the map, uh, well, this wall here didn't work too well because the seam is right there. You can see the line. Okay, so that's usually what's the biggest problem is the lights aren't processed properly. So with this probe here, what we need to do, is we need to take this one here outside the wall. And we just do that by moving that slightly out, right? And so once all the walls are completely covered, um, you notice that, uh, sorry, you'll notice that the lines won't happen anymore. And what will happen uh, here, well, I'll show you in a second here. I'm just going to move this one out. Okay, so, okay, so what happens here when you're in, in the doorway here? Well, when you're in the doorway here, you can see there's this reflection probe, and then there's also this one here. And this one here is going to end somewhere in this area. So where they end in, well, there's a little gap between them. Well, that gap will usually create a line. And so you'll get like a dark shadow line and i'll show you this by uh we're gonna look at the drill map that uh grim and i've been working on okay so here you'll see that we've got a reflection probe issue okay we've got a nice uh dark line right down the center here as you can see from the center from uh this area straight down you can see uh, this nice dark line and so how do we get rid of this dark line is the question i guess is uh most people's question if you watch the first tutorial i'll give you an example how to set basic uh uh, reflection probes so so what i do basically to set up these areas here is i do linked reflection probes now this might be wrong i don't work at uh, treyarch so they might have a subtly different way of, of handling this but uh, i'll show you in a minute how that gets solved and i'll do it without having to compile hopefully um because that's going to just make the tutorial take forever so here if you select on this one here you'll see there's a gap here so what i've got here is a reflection probe that's set up in this area as you can see with a dithering effect that comes all the way to this area that if I were to select this, or select this reflection probe as well, as you can see, the dithered area and this reflection probe have a little bit of a gap in between them. And so just like the uh, the last one I showed you where it was against the wall, there was that gap where you could see that line. That's the same thing that's happening here. So what you really want to do is you want to uh, create your reflection probe in this area here, anywhere you want. So you you know right click if you've done the way I've done, you add it to your right click context menu, just click the right the reflection probes. Or else you can go into your... Um, Entity browser, I believe it is. And here, let me bring mine over here just for a minute. And if you go into your entity browser, you can type in here reflection. And you should see unsorted. Right click on this, add uh, toggle the favorites, and now it will be in your toggle your menu. Okay, so you want to drop in your reflection probe. And once you have this one dropped in with it selected, you want to go over here to the other area and drop in your reflection probe. And so that's going to link your reflection probes. And if you look down here, I also have a reflection probe in here as well. And these are all linked into the one reflection probe. Okay, so without uh, getting off to going too much into it, I'm just going to say that uh, when you when you set these reflection probes up now, what you're going to do, because they're all linked, um, it's it's a lot easier for it to handle which one is the uh, master, in a sense, of the uh, or the primary, um, and which one is the secondary. Okay, so with this reflection probe here, once, it's, once you've light compiled, really comes down to all you really have to do is make them uh, match over top of each other. And you'll see here by doing this, I've already compiled the light. So as long as I don't move the reflection probe and I just move these sliders, I can actually dither um, the edge and get right into an area where you see that reflection probe line is gone. So again, I'll show you guys by selecting this here. And again, you don't want to move, move this reflection probe or that reflection probe, you have to build the lights again. So you want to just grab the boxes here, as you can see, I can pull this back here. I can hit escape and now there's a big thick black line. But if I pull this here, or I'm sorry, left shift, left click on the reflection probe and grab this green square here. Now control shift and the green square brings out the uh, extended block or the out outer box. Um, and just grabbing with your left mouse, left click mouse, um, allows you to move the uh, uh, both of them at the same time, sorry. Okay, so um, what do you, you know, you can go into these. They said, a lot of people have said or people have said before you can't or shouldn't overlap them. Well, that is barely an overlap, if you can see. It's, I'm just into the dither of the other one. So we'll go with that, hit escape, and as you can see, boom, area solved. So this is really all you have to do to get some nice reflection probes working. 
Um, if anyone sees anything I've done wrong, if anyone knows better, let me know, because I, I would always like to get better at what I do. Uh, but, I mean, we've done a lot of different areas, as you can see here, um, which I won't get into preview and stuff. There's stuff in here I can't really show you, because it's not ready to be shown. <laughs> and it's kind of Grim's thing to show you. It's his right. He's done so much work on this map. It looks amazing. And we'll get into showing you guys that, uh, you know, very, very shortly, as soon as we've got a few more things worked out. But for now... Um, you know, thanks for checking out the tutorial. You guys should have a, a decent understanding how to set up complex areas. And uh, again, the other tutorial should show you how to cut like uh, reflection probes so that you guys can shape them if you want. Um, if you have any other questions, go to COD Utility or CODUtility.com and, uh, you know, post in the questions or the help section in the Black Ops 3 forum. Uh, you know, someone will come along and help you. I'll help you and, uh, you know, we'll get you sorted. Um, but uh, until next time. Uh, I'm just going to say thank you for watching. Thank you for checking out. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe if you want to see more. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next side. Thanks so much and peace.